Hello, welcome back once again to Magic Cat Security Pen Testing Tutorials. Today I'm going to go over another OSINT app called Trape, which can be very handy. It's one of those that's a little bit outdated, um, but it's still useful. It's still useful. Okay, so here's your directory. Oh, let me show you first of all, and of course, as usual, I will include the links at the bottom below the video, but you can grab this on GitHub. Uh, just come and do, do your clone thing, you know, clone the directory, and pop it in there and get it ready. Then what you're going to do in here is, um, after making executable files that need to be executable and all that good stuff, you're going to type this. You're going to type whoop, pip install tech r and then requirements.txt. And that will install the required libraries and all those goodies that you need. Okay. And mine's already done, so I'm not going to mess with it. But this also requires Python 2 at this point. Now, luckily, Python is one of these that you can have Python, Python 2, and Python 3 on your machine without running into a lot of issues like you would with Java. Um, you just have to specify which Python you want the system to use for whatever particular execution at the time. So we're going to use Python 2 trait and we're going to crank it up. Now when you start this up for the first time instead of getting the screen that you see now it's going to ask you for your authorization key for NGROCK. Okay? So you'll want to go to NGROCK site and when you get here, you're going to want to go ahead and sign up, get a registration. Um, once you have your your registration, you've signed in, you can go here to auth and just hit the copy button and copy your auth key and take your auth key and plug it in. And then it will go to the next question. And it's going to ask you, this is a tricky one, and it's going to ask you for your Google Maps API key which that's kind of tricky you're going to get the maps javascript api okay off google um there are various tutorials on exactly how to do that if you google that or duck, duck, go it uh, you'll be able to find some tutorials on how you can do that if you need to know uh, a little bit tricky but you can work through it so you give it that your google maps api then it's going to ask for a google or google url shortener uh, key which that service is no longer available so you can leave it blank and just continue from there um, hopefully in the future they're going to set this up with like tiny URL or something like that so um, it will have a different service but anyway I digress okay so the URL we want to generate for the lore um, hmm, let's see what can we let's let's do Instagram Instagram.com. Okay, so. And what port? Let's do a crazy port. Let's do uh, 8586. Okay, and hit enter. And it's going to start generating everything. And as you can see, it's pretty quick. It doesn't play around. Okay, so it's waiting for a user now. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open the control panel, as you can see here. It gives us a link for that. So I'm going to copy this. We're going to go back to our Chrome browser. You can use whichever browser you like. I'm going to paste in that link and we go there. And here we are at the control panel for Trape. And you notice it's asking for an access key. So we go back to our terminal window here and see it gives us an access key that's generated just for this particular server and this login that we just now generated. So we copy that. We go back over and paste our key in here, sign in, and then boom, here we are. Okay, we'll get not now. Thank you very much, LastPass. Okay, and you can see I've already logged in here, just uh, setting everything up and testing it out, make sure it was good. So um, that's a good thing. Um, now let's go back here, and here you see lure for the or lure for lure or lure however you say it for the users we're going to copy that and we're going to come over here and we're just going to kind of give it a a monkey that logs in so we're going to go to this and boom 
and it loads up it should be loading up our Instagram page but it's lagging a bit isn't it oh my goodness well normally it's gonna give you a login um, let's try this with another one shall we let's try that so we're gonna kick it up again and let's try something different let's try oh I don't know um, Twitter let's try twitter.com and let's do this one at 8987 for the port and we're gonna go ahead here all right waiting for the users okay so we're gonna close these so it doesn't confuse the browser and I'll open this we'll hit F5 just to clear cache and let's come to our terminal let's get our control panel open copy that and we're gonna put that in here to open our control panel go back and grab our key notice it's a different access key each time it's a different session uh, so it will generate a different access key um, this is a new session so we have a new access key we'll pop that in sign in and it still has the the test one that I did no not now last pass thank you very much that we did right here so that's good now we're going to check out the lure okay and it should be waiting for us to or some victim to end up in the lore on the lore site paste and go boom look at that Twitter page doesn't that look good this uh, program that's one of the things I like about it. normally it does a pretty good job of copying and see it we go back over here you see it's it's already grabbed the user and it's seeing some sessions detected through the browser some cookies which I purposely went and visited a few sites and didn't clear anything so it would have something to grab here so I have something to show you for the demonstration so if I'm on the other end I'm at the control panel now it shows that the victim is online which of course is is actually me we're sitting on there but it doesn't need to know that so we're sitting on there and we can go here and I'll say allow and uh, this takes a while that's why it says oops something went wrong you can see it says loading so it takes a while to load but we get all kinds of information down here and the network status and we have a process hook that can be used where you can have various attacks your inject JS which you can inject and into um, the um, uh, into the memory um, also here if you want it you can make the users <laughs> computer talk to them you see you can change the type of voice even English or Spanish you type in here what you want it to say and make it say that um, it won't work in this case because I'm logging in to and from the same machine that's the server for this demo so but you get the idea and you see you and I can go to host here and it shows the different host from the different jumps and something else that's very interesting is and you see there's more information here and then I can go to sessions and anything it grabbed a cookie on look at here it's got the Gmail session it's got my github session it's got a YouTube session uh, it, it catches that information so and I can go here choose an active service see one of these is active like I can do the, the YouTube and I can say leave and um, um, and it will go to that site right but anywho and we're caught in a, a bit of a loop now it looks like but that's that's basically how it works um, so you can get all your information on there um, don't try to do it to yourself because you, then you end up in a crazy loop like this so <laughs> there we go um, also let me um, I didn't do this let me refresh it and see if it'll let me do it still if I didn't totally lock up the browser by looping it like that I do apologize for that like I said if I wasn't doing this from the exact same system that I'm setting up from it wouldn't get in the crazy loop and all so let's do a John dot at 
gmail.com and then password will do my password 321 okay and then we hit login now before I do that if you look up here now of course we have to have the specialized port and IP for our mimicked or um, our copied website but there are ways to mask this okay that can be done um, and that's for an entirely different tutorial we're not going to go over that now but what happens once they put their info in most people don't pay much attention they see the site and they go oh, okay we're at Twitter they put their info in they hit login now here's the cool thing it's going to automatically kick them to the actual site um, so it's going to say, oh, there was an error and they'll just think, well, maybe I mistyped something or whatever. And they'll hit login again and it will log them right into the Twitter account. And back over here, whoops, hit the right desk. Back over here, you get all the information. Um, and if I hadn't done the, <laughs> the loop, you would see the, uh, email address and password here also that I just typed in because it does capture that I promise you but um, as I said don't try and do it all from the same machine because it will give you errors and issues um, as you can see it did here so here we go and it shows that we logged off of there but um, this does somewhat what beef does whereas it will hook the browser um, when they pass through um, so and you can grab credentials to their account that you fake at the same time now this is a great test for pen testers um, people have are your always your weakest point in any company and you're gonna have the biggest problems with people making mistakes of clicking on things they shouldn't be clicking on um, and those of you that already do network administration and pen testing you know what I'm talking about you know what I'm talking about so this is a great test. Uh, it's great to set up with the bosses, you know, so that no one else knows. And then uh, you can run your little scripts in there because everybody checks their Facebook and their Twitter and their Amazon and all at work, even though they shouldn't. And you can catch quite a few people. You'd be amazed not paying attention. Um, so good things to bring up. Uh, you can do reports on that. So you have each user logged and then when you go over the reports and they have their little business meeting with their employees, it's a great thing to bring up. Um, doesn't hurt to embarrass a couple of employees and make them think, oh, ooh, I need to be more careful. So that's all for today. Thank you very much. Uh, I hope you enjoy Trape. Um, it's a handy little tool. Um, that's, like I said, it can be a little bit buggy because it's a little bit outdated, but it's still handy. still has a lot of good tools in involved, um, and uh, especially if you're not looping it back on itself. <laughs> Have a great night. Thanks for joining us.